Well, after all the many months of planning, this journey has finally begun. And I've now finished my first week on the road, completing 274 miles. I began the journey at a place called Cape Flattery, and Cape Flattery is the northwesternmost point of the contiguous United States. And it took me about 10 hours to take a series of buses and ferries out to this point. Out there, that is the Pacific Ocean. That rambles for about 7,000 miles all the way to the eastern seaboard of China. But in that direction, that's where I'm going. I am heading across America for 4,000 miles, all the way to the southeasternmost point, to Key West. One of the coolest things about being on a journey like this is that strangers reach out to you and give you incredible offers, like John Price, who said to me, do you want to go sailing? And it took me probably about five seconds to agree, yes, of course I want to go sailing. And we went sailing out into the uh, Puget Sound on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And he gave me an amazing insight into what he feels is the state of modern America. From my perspective as someone who's lived here all my life, I've never experienced a more divided nation. Uh, but I've tried to talk to people who have lived through things like World War II and Vietnam when other parts uh, didn't see eye to eye. And it sounds like we're very similar to what was happening in the 60s right now. I don't know for sure, but I know that it's uncomfortable to talk to people about your point of view. It's thoughts and opinions like these that I want to have throughout my book. I want to try and uncover interesting perspectives from people who don't normally have their voices heard. And that's why I ended up in a place called Poolsbo. Now, Poolsbo has the highest concentration of nuclear weapons anywhere in the world. There are about 600 uh, under the ground, about a mile and a half from here, and another 600 odd uh, ones that are on, on uh, submarines. And um, it's, it's important also because it's been a center of nonviolence since the 70s. Uh, this property was purchased by activists who wanted to protest the delivery of the nuclear weapons and having them be in the, in the Pacific Ocean. Um, so they bought this property and they originally were sitting on the trains to try to block the um, nuclear weapons from coming. After a first week on the road, I am now finally taking a much needed day off. This is where I spent last night, a little hut in a place called North Bend in the Cascades. And next week I'm gonna be heading further east, deeper into Washington State, and then making my way towards Idaho.